Before you get too serious about selling items on eBay, you should buy items on eBay for a while first. Parts 1 and 2 of these videos covered buying on eBay. So at this point, we'll assume you've bought some model railroad and goodies on eBay and you now understand the buying process. So let's sell something. Follow along as I sell these two ENC Shops SP High Cube boxcar kits. These cars are too new for my 1980s layout, so I'd like to sell them on eBay. They're essentially brand new, although the boxes themselves do have some wear. To determine what price to set, I first do some research on eBay itself. I find most ENC Shops kits sell for between $8 and $15, so I set the price for my cars at $10, actually $9.99, to keep the price ever so slightly on the $8 side of $10 instead of on the $15 side. I also look at what people are charging for shipping, and I'll be looking to set shipping in the $4 to $5 range. Before I list my box cars, I take some nice photos of the two cars with my digital camera. I also empty the contents of one of the kits out and photograph that to clearly show what's in the kit. The more you do with photos to help people see what they're buying, the smoother your auctions will go. It's also important to be as honest as possible if the item has a defect to be upfront about it and include a clear photo of the defect. I make sure I get a good photo of the kit boxes so everyone can see the wear. It doesn't hurt the kit inside at all, but keeping any flaws, no matter how insignificant, secret is not a good idea. To set up my listing, I log into the eBay site and at the top right, click the menu entry, Sell, Sell an Item. I'm first asked to determine the category for the item, so I type in HO Southern Pacific SP Boxcar. And eBay recommends a list of categories to choose from. I select Model Railroad Trains HO Scale Other. The other categories are vendor specific, like Bachman and Athern. ENC Shops is too small of a vendor to have their own category so other is the best choice in this case. I then get two options for entering a listing. More listing choices or keep it simple. I select more listing choices. I work my way through the info about my item. For title, HO Modern Boxcar Southern Pacific SP ENC Shops. I did later change this slightly. Condition, new. Used was my other option, and this is a new unassembled kit. So new it is, even though the box is a bit worn. Grading, C9 factory new or brand new. eBay provides a 1 to 10 grading system for item quality. And C9 fits this item the best since it is new although not in mint condition because of the box wear. For photos, eBay makes it easy to upload any number of photos. Generally at least two images of the item are advised. The first image is free and each additional image costs 15 cents. I also opted to go with Gallery Plus for another 35 cents since that allows people to display the pictures in a larger format which I think helps sales. For description, here's the description I entered for each of the ENC Shops boxcars. It's important to describe the item clearly and to point out any flaws such as the box wear. It also helps to give potential buyers more confidence if you can explain a sensible reason why you're selling the item. Since I have two very similar listings, I also wanted to minimize the confusion by clearly spelling out the road number on each car. For listing designer, I just took the default. And for visitor counter, I chose the basic style, again, the default. For my starting price, 
I set it at 99 cents. You'll generally get more interest if you start with a low starting price. For the buy it now price, I set it at $9.99, just in case there's someone who can't wait for the auction to run its course. For duration, I set the auction to three days, even though the default is seven days. In this case, I wanted to sell the items fairly quickly. For payment type, I just took the default, which is PayPal. For return policy, I chose allow returns for up to seven days after the buyer receives the item. For refund policy, I chose money back, buyer pays, return shipping. My listing cost me a total of 50 cents. I used the sell similar item link to create the second listing for the other kit I have, road number 286022. Once I've created both listings, I go review them using the My eBay menu on the upper right and select Selling. I can see both entries and I can easily track views, how many people added the listing to their watch list and any bids that are placed. So now I just wait for the auction to run its course and see how it does. So how did my auction do? Well I got one question asking if I could do combined shipping because the person wanted both kits. So I said, yes, I'll do $6 if you buy them both. No one took me up on the buy it now option, so the sale of both items became a bidding war. Once the dust settled, I sold both cars to one person for $7 each and a shipping of $6. The actual shipping charges were $5.50 and eBay charged me $0.50. Cents so I made $14 from cars that were otherwise just gathering dust in my stash.